Hi, everybody. There she is. Isn't that beautiful? So, nice young man to deliver the first engine, which uh, wasn't quite right for those that uh, had caught this one the first time. I uh, got sent back, redone, less than four weeks, and here it is. And he brought it back. So, I want to thank Lycon Engines in Visalia, California, Ken, the president, owner. Thank you for getting this turned around so fast. So the old engine, it's just going to go to someone else. This is actually a completely different engine. I mean, why why crack the case for a perfectly good working engine? It's going to go to some other good home. It's not going to go in RV-14 because the prop governor won't fit, but it will definitely go in some other plane. So whoever's got that, they're going to have some fun. All right, let's go over some specs. Uh, you know, experimental Lycoming IO390. And it's all got the standard, you know, Lycoming equipment. There are a couple uh, different pieces, however. Uh, let's see. The, there's a cold air sump. So instead of a regular oil sump, there's a superior cold air sump, which we'll go into in a later video, as I didn't order that. Uh, that was either a mistake or a freebie by the engine shop. Either way, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh... Oh, roller tappets, so instead of mushroom tappets that slam up against the camshaft, it's got roller tappets, which are much nicer and kinder to the camshaft themselves. And the best part is I can take them out. Now, normally there's a case modification for that, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'll get into all that specifics later. I just want to go over the general stuff. Uh, modifications from Lycon. I had the O-ring case mod put in, so instead of using silk thread, there's an actual o-ring around the entire case flange which is awesome uh, I have my camshaft advanced one degree I have a performance grind also on that camshaft done so that the valve timing is just a little slightly different oh uh, what else I think that might be it oh and of course I had the EFII system placed in right so that is the electronic fuel injection and ignition system that I've been yammering about forever uh, they install, and they actually distribute the system, so they install it on the engine for me. So I don't have a chance to screw that up. They make sure it's done right, which is great. Uh, there's, uh, you can't really see too well. I'll, I'll get some more pictures in the next video, but there's, you know, they've already installed the fuel rails. They've installed the uh, auto throttle, basically auto throttle body in the front there. Engine temperature probe. Stuff like that. So the coil packs in the back. So instead of magnetos, there's you know racing coil packs, stuff like that. All the wiring is already done, and it's great. And all those things added up. Uh, this thing is going to be breathing some fire. So all right, let, here's the uh, box of equipment. And there is the certificate. I'm gonna put that in the upper right hand corner that just flashed. Read that number right, and that's 230 horse. So here's all the parts for the EFI system. You can see the ECU box in the lower left. There's two of those. In the bottom right is the fuel pressure regulator. On the very right-hand corner of the table are the spark plug wires and the wiring bundles. There's the controller unit in the middle to the left of that. In the bottom center, there's two manifold pressure regulators. Above that to the left is a roll of vacuum line next to the paperwork and engine logbook. Behind that are is the fuel filter, or fuel filters. So, And that's pretty much it. That's the whole system that goes into the plane, which is sweet. And we'll have a lot of fun putting this thing in, I guarantee it. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry I didn't get this video out. I knew I was gonna do it on the weekend, but my buddy Josh came in. We had a ton of fun, got totally distracted. Uh, the next video, uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna see some interesting things. So, thank you for joining me, everyone. Have a good Thanksgiving week. See you soon.